Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine. My name is Dave. And I'm Tyler. And today we're going to be reviewing another Steve Jackson game, another Steve Jackson chess game, and this is a nightmare. Nightmare Chess. And this is another spin, uh, another look at chess where you're using the same basic uh, board and rules of chess, but you modify your turn with these cards. So, let's show you how to play it. Let's do it. All right, everyone, so uh, here are the components. I know the chess boards here, I know that's a bit misleading. This does not come in the uh, actual box here. All that comes in Nightmare Chess are these fists full of cards. Long cards are really like well-produced, linen finish. They're about as big as my hand. Um, and they come, I, it doesn't really have a number, I didn't look, but it's at least a good 200 cards there. So that is what comes in the box, and those are the components from Nightmare Chess. I know that was that was a lot. Now let's show you how to play. Okay guys, so when you're actually playing Nightmare Chess, you would set up your chess board as you would for a normal game of chess. Uh, the complicated part, which the part will actually take you a little bit of time to do, is you're actually got to build a deck of cards. And when you're play building your deck, what you'll do is you get to build 150 points worth of cards. So you're going to have to build 150 points worth of cards. Now, as you can see, like right here, there's a little number up at the top of corner. That is a four-point card, and you build your cards up to 150 points. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when you're doing this, building your deck, especially if you're new, it's going to take you a long time. This is where a lot of the time in the game goes to. Like any other CCG or anything, when you're building a deck, that's a game within itself. So make sure you ha you go, go into building your deck with that mindset and be ready to play the game after. You know, once you get started, you know, you'll just make your moves in chess, and if you have a card that will affect your move, you can play that card at the time, and some cards will last the rest of the game, some will last only for your turn, like any other card game. Mm -hmm. The cool thing about Nightmare Chess is, like, uh, we gave a good... Uh, score for the rule book because it just tells you how to uh, get started and all the rules therefore on are on the card so if you need to know something just read the card so um, on the at the beginning of your turn uh, after building your deck you everyone will start with uh, five cards in their hand here and you will always have five cards in your hand so if you play one you draw right back up once you run out of cards you're out of luck and you just have to play the base game of ch chess there there on so, um, well, there is there is one caveat to that, mm -hmm. Dave. If you have any <laughs> rules that have been placed on the board that last the rest of the game, you do have to follow those rules. Sure, yeah. You just have no more cards to additionally affect the game. Right. And so the gameplay goes as such: you have two actions that you can execute. You can do both of them, or just one. You at least uh, you have to at least move one of your pieces. So everything moves the same way as chess. You have the special moves. Um, with uh, the pawns and pieces can't move through each other just like in uh, tile chest you're able to move through pieces and this everything is the same so you're able to move and then play a card that associates with you on your turn and that is pretty much it you draw your a card back up and then the next player goes now there are cards that associate uh, with your player and playing against them you would again draw one card to go back up to five in your basic hand so, I mean, there's not much to say beyond that. Um, like we said, the cards are going to tell you what uh, to do the whole time. And we could sit here all day and go through all the rules. Just know that um, there are uh, cards that have special win conditions. Um, what other stuff are there? there? Special win conditions. They change how your dice, uh, not your dice, I'm sorry, your pawns or any of your pieces will move or interact with other pieces. They actually change the board where you can create walls or things like that. Yeah, set traps for the pieces to, if they land on them, can kill other pieces. There's a lot of things that can happen in this game. I can pretty much guarantee you that if you play it this way, you will never play the same game of chess twice. Yeah, the replayability is great. That, I mean, that's where the fistful of cards come in. So. Uh, I maniacally cackle several times during playing playing this game. So I mean, this game is a, a nice addition to the chess world, wouldn't you say? I'd say so. Now let's give our opinions on what we think about Nightmare Chess. All right, guys. So that was Nightmare Chess. Uh, as you can see, this game is kind of an expansion on the actual game of chess. Uh, we feel like this is a really strong game. Uh, we do have some thoughts 
on this game, but uh, we'll jump right in on that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and what we do here on Game Vine, we give every game a letter grade. So, what score did we give this one? It was oh, a 73, right? It was a 73, which is a solid C. Yeah, I mean, uh, we gave Tile Chest, uh, the one that we reviewed before this, a little higher grade, but that doesn't really impact uh, this game as such to most people, because some people are going to see this in a higher light. This game was just a little bit more overwhelming than Tile Chess was, and we think um, that's why we gave it a better grade. That and the components, the lack of thereof components, right? Right. I mean, if this is a game where if you're really into chess, like if you play chess a lot, this is going to be a great game for you, because it kind of, it, it turns it on its head a little bit. It makes it a little bit more complicated. It it expands on the game rather than just sitting down and playing chess. Yeah. Uh, one of the things we felt was a bit of a weakness in this game was they do give you these cards, mm -hmm. and the cards are beautiful. Yeah, they're big, great. They're very good quality long cards. cards too. The, the rules for the cards are interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that we thought while we were playing it was uh, there are some cards that will have you put a marker on your chess piece, mm -hmm. or like for example, there's a card where you actually put a wall. Yeah. On the board where you're supposed to put like a matchstick or, or something, something out there to signify that you can't go past that. We felt like if you were going to have rules that were going to change the pieces or the board in that way, yeah. they probably should have included some sort of markers to allow you to do that rather than for you having to improvise mm -hmm. these pieces for the game. I mean, yeah, that's basically what we had to do, and I think that's where the score went down the most was on the components, because the theme got a, a, I love the theme. Um, I'm a theme guy, and knowing chess, it, I like to see chess crumble, to see all the rules just get thrown over backwards. One time I was playing with my wife, and I moved my queen out thinking nothing could happen with that queen. She takes her bishop, bounces off the board, and gets my queen. I flip the table after that, but that's what can happen in Nightmare Chess, so... Uh, it's a good game. It just there's a few minor things that kind of tweak the score to be on the lower end. But this isn't a bad game at Not all. At all. I, I, this is a gamer's chess. Like if you can't get people to play chess with you, introduce nightmare chess and just have them play. I mean I, that's that's what I would say. I also feel like some people are going to complain that this is nightmare chess. Why didn't it make, come with the chess game? Yeah, yeah. But. Honestly, you're probably not going to buy this game if you don't already play chess. Yeah, we're not hitting on the fact that there wasn't a chess board, because this like would be more interesting. We didn't, we didn't interesting. take that into the scoring at all. No, because that that's a minor um, like quibble. I, that Some people have these really epic chess boards, and this would be great to play with like one of those like statuesque chess sets. So, yeah, that we didn't uh, really harp too much on the fact that there was no chess board. It's just some of the marker pieces, you know. So... That was Nightmare of Chest. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for tuning in to Game Vine today. My name is Dave. And I'm Tyler. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you to Steve Jackson Games for sending us this game. Uh, we hope to be getting more Steve Jackson Games to you guys as soon as possible. And play on. Play on. We're out.